The latest developments on that horrific church bus crash yesterday on the city's north side. Here's what we know at this hour. Eight people remain hospitalized. Most of them are teenagers in good to fair condition. One teen remains critically injured as investigators tried to determine what claimed the lives of three people and an unborn child. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet has more details. The church bus carrying 37 people plus the driver overturned, killing youth pastor Chad Phelps, his pregnant wife Courtney due to deliver next month, and 51-year-old Tanya Weindorf, a mother of five. The bus was returning home from a Michigan summer camp when it crashed less than two miles from the church. Several children and teens on the bus were injured, one critically. All these folks were special to us as members here, as friends. Uh, our church grieves now. Chad Phelps was the son of Colonial Baptist senior pastor. On Saturday, he sent this tweet saying, on the bus, on the way home, pray for safety. Witnesses say that the driver of the bus was speeding before it crashed. The light had turned green for the southbound traffic, and then the bus just flew into my vision right away and flipped just in an instant. The 68-year-old driver tells police that his brakes failed as he exited the interstate and turned south on Keystone, striking the median and causing the bus to flip on its side. On Sunday, police accident investigators say they had no new information on what caused the accident. Church members left services on Sunday while reporters were kept at a distance. While a teenager injured in the crash remains in critical condition, now the search continues for what caused the horrific accident that claimed the lives of four people. The driver of the bus, Dennis Maurer, is also a church member. Investigators will have to determine if the brakes indeed failed and why. This 